I'm going to show you a demo of the website pipeline e-commerce platform with our Sage 300 ERP integration. So this is just going to show you some of the touch points with the e-commerce and Sage 300 to show you how integrated it is. I am on a demo website. This is just a made up company with made up products. I am remote desktoped in to Sage 300 or ACPAC and I'm just going to type in this SKU. So the whole concept of the ERP integration is that any data that you manage in the ERP system, you don't have to manage again in the website. All of your administration, so I'm just going to make a simple edit to this product name, for example, and this syncs up automatically through a sync tool we have to the website. I'm going to come here, hit refresh. You can see that the product name has already changed. I'm going to go back to AppPack. I'm going to go into item pricing. And what you can see here is this product is actually on four different price lists. One of them is a retail price list with a price of $144.44. Another one I want you to note is a wholesale price list with a price of $41.95. So this $144.44, if I go back to the site, you'll see that's the price that I'm seeing as an anonymous non-logged in user. I'm going to go back to ACPAC and I'm going to pull up this pricing on our retail price list and I'm going to change the pricing to 177.77 and save. Our sync tool syncs it up to the website securely in real time. So now you can see my retail price is 177.77. Now I'm going to sign in. This is a login that I've already got set up and this login is attached to an account in Sage 300. So the accounts, or what are called customers in Sage, Sage 300, sync over. This login is just an individual, Eric Alexander, associated with that account. And you can see now that my price is $41.95. If we go back into ACPAC, you can see that's because that customer that Eric Alexander is associated with has a $41.95 pricing as a wholesale customer. So I'm going to go back, add this item to the cart. It's not going to ask me to log in again. As I proceed through the checkout, it remembers all my information, pulls my address book in. If I had multiple addresses in Sage 300, they would all pull in. Allows me to come in and pick a shipping method. It shows me the appropriate billing options. Because I'm a, a, an account on terms, it allows me to place an order on PO. It's issued an order number of 100,034. Now I'm going back into Sage and I'm going to search for that order number. Here it is. So you can see the order is automatically fed from the website into Sage 300, exactly as if someone hand keyed it in, only there's no errors. It also pulls in the ship to location or ship to address. And you can see the two line items here. One is the fluorescent desk lamp that we purchased and a ship, uh, shipping item, which is where we carry the shipping charge that was charged in the cart. So the cool thing is this order has gone back into ACPAC or into Sage 300 and then back into the website. So any changes or modifications that occur, if a customer calls up and wants to make changes to an order, it's not a problem. Those changes will be fed back to the website. So let me give you a quick example. If I come in here and change the order quantity from one to four, now I'll go back to the website and I'll go into the tracking section and you can see here's my order number 10034. You can see the order total has already changed. So if I go to the order details and I see my quantity of four of these products instead of one. So the cool thing is this will actually pull in all web and non-web orders. So if a customer calls in, phones, faxes, emails in orders, doesn't matter. Those orders will be in the website waiting for them to track. Now I'm going to go back into Sage 300 and I'm going to ship and invoice this order to show you what happens and how it updates the website. Okay, now I'm going back to the website and on my sales order tracking screen, I'm going to hit refresh and you'll see that two new sections have showed up. Uh, one is the invoice. If there was multiple invoices against this order, you'd see all of them and you can click to the invoice details. The next one is the shipment. You can click to the shipment and it'll track right on the shipper's website. Uh, but this shows them a complete full transaction list of what happens to the order. And then when they go into the other areas, the tracking section for invoices and shipments, they can track them there as well. That's the website pipeline e-commerce platform with Sage 300, formerly ACPAC integration. For a complete demo, feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to show you and answer any questions.